now come to the next question a few members of a population migrate to the another right when a few members of a population migrate to the another population right and place what will happen which statement is correct about them elimination of few genes from the old population is it correct right it is correct exactly right genetic drift obviously we just know that the variation from the relative frequency of the different genotype in a small population right and so this uh, when these uh, members with their genes migrate to one population to the another right and uh, replace them right so that statement is also correct members of the newly formed population are called as founders no they are not called as the founders so answer is both a and b right so the answer is both a and b clear now come to the next question that is if selection occurs right if selection occurs select the correct sequence of the events right so what kind of selection is there we have when we have to generate a new species right with their new traits their new characters so then what will happen in that case right what kind of changes are there we can say it is involved the pre existing mutations right the animal the particular animal which is found by which is found by the pre existing new ones then uh the new pheno phenotype right and uh, now the speciation that is the formation of a new species right so that is the sequence right so the answer is pre existing mutation in both that is c and d cancel then speciation speciation and the new phenotype no first is the new phenotype then the speciation right so now the question is what is the speciation actually right that is the speciation is the evolutionary process right it is the evolutionary process by which the population evolve to become a distinct species right to become a different kind of species with some new characters clear with some new characters for the speciation to occur to new population must be formed from one original population right and they must evolve they must evolve in such a way that it becomes the impossible for the individuals from two new population to interbreed clear so uh, when we observe the speciation there are three stages uh to complete the process right first one we have to isolate that population clear we have to isolate that population with the desired characters clear divergence in traits of the separated population that is the mating system or the habitat they use clear and third one is the reproductive uh, isolation for the population to maintain the isolation when the population comes in contact again right that is called the secondary contact clear so all these three stages is necessary to complete the process of the speciation clear so that is the speciation that's why the uh, the answer is bombay right now come to the next that is when more individual acquires the peripheral characters at both ends of the distribution curve it is called the directional change no it is called the disruptive change right it is called the disruptive change not the directional change and stabilization supports the selection of mean character value it is right or wrong it is right right that stabilization supports the selection of um, mean character value right so the answer is only b is correct a is wrong right so that is answer is bombay in natural selection natural selection we have three kinds of the curves right we can we have the three kinds of the stabilization this is the example of the natural selection actually right so uh, these stabilization graph the disruptive graph and the directional changes right what kind of changes are there that natural selection can lead to three stages three changes right first one is the stabilization second is the directional changes third one is the disruption right so what will happen in these <coughs> sorry <coughs> these stages when we talk about the stabilization 
in which more individual acquires the mean character value right in which more individual acquires the mean character value when we talk about the c here that is uh, the stabilization selection that is the that was the original population right and after the natural selection this is the uh, se uh, selection criteria of the population right so uh, this is called the stabilizing selection that means what will happen stabilizing that is stable right there is no variable offspring now come to the directional changes that is more individual acquire the value other than the mean character value right right you can see here that is the original population and that is the population after the natural selection right that is the white moth and these are the black moth light colored moth and the black colored moth clear so that is the directional population right that is the pre uh, just before uh, that is the pre industrialization and uh, it shows the pre industrialization um, industrial melanism and after uh, this is called the post industrialization see right so the uh, it shows the directional changes third one is the disruption that is more individual acquires the peripheral character value at both ends of the disruptive curve you can see here right these are the population which after the after the natural selection and that is the original value right which is little bit yeah that is disruptive right the mean value is there and the uh, clear so in a hypothetical population right uh, they are better able to blend with the uh, another and resulting the diversific uh, diversifying selection right so these are three types of the natural selection stages right that is the stabilization directional changes and disruption and these graphs asked in the previous years exam very these are very important from the examination point of view right now come to the next question now come to the next question that is through exhaustive research a very effective antibiotic a right it is value based question actually and you have to just focus it uh, in its uh, on its data right to retrieve the answer that antibiotic a was made against the ant, uh, a bacteria b right obviously when we uh, against any kind of bacteria the antibiotics of the formed antibiotics is very effective right why because we use the the antigens of the bacteria the chemical of the bacteria to form the uh, antibiotics against them right so initially there were two strains of b okay that is sensitive first one is sensitive and second one is the resistant that means the bacteria uh, the antibiotic which acts upon the bacteria and kill them they are the sensitive and the bacteria which resists the antibiotic that means there is no effect on the on these bacteria right that is called the resistance r when a is frequently used when a antibiotic is frequently used then what uh, identify the correct statement sensitive and the resistance right the proportion of s will increases obviously the proportion of s will increases right because we use the antibiotic against the sensitive bacteria so what will happen the proportion of s will decrease the sensitive bacteria gets killed and uh, they uh, their number will be decreased right so that is correct the proportion of r will decrease no because they are resistant that's why they will not be decreased in that condition right so that is wrong that r undergoes an uh, the natural selection no right initial resistance in r is due to the pre adaptive mutation exactly that is correct clear resistant develops on the exposure to a yes we can say that is gradually changes but sometimes uh, it's not uh, uh, it's not exactly correct why because they are sensitive and when we uh, uh, when we apply the antibiotics on it right so the sensitive cells will not be survive more right to uh, get resistant that's why at that particular uh, position and in that question 
that statement is wrong but yes gradually when the, uh, the some bacteria get resistance uh, after a long use of that antibiotic right so and this is the example of the evolution by the anthropogonic action that is the line of the ncrt exactly all these right so the answer is the four statements are correct so the answer is bombay clear now come to the 10th identify 1 2 and 3 right that is early reptiles which extinct right what will happen see here that is the turtle lizard then dinosaurs then mammals that is the evolutionary history so see that chart right that is the carboniferous premian triassic jurassic cretaceous tertiary and quaternary periods right and what will happen the sauropsids form the turtles right the synapsids by that uh, extinct right all these extinct so the early reptiles extinct right sauropsid then synapsids so what will happen here the sauropsids first one is the sauropsids which form the turtle and lizard turtle and lizard right so you can see here that is the way turtle that is the lizard right so it is it also belongs to the sauropsid right the so first one is the sauropsid second is the dinosaurs right dinosaurs so see there through the early reptiles right the synapsids form the these uh, palicosaur right so that is the dinosaurs and even see that clear that is the extent these are the dinosaurs and third one is the uh, sorry that three is the dinosaurs dinosaurs that is the thecodont right dinosaurs is the thecodont after that thecodont we have these dinosaurs right now come to the next that is the evolution of the mammals through the early reptiles right that is through the see that is the synapsids right through early extinct synapsids and after that the paleosaur then the uh, therapsids and then the mammals right come to the next question identify one two and three right these are the stages according to the evolution right the early reptiles which are the extinct uh, and they extend uh, they extend and uh, they divide it into two right one and two that one gave rise to uh, or converted into the turtle and the reptiles right that give rise after that uh, turtle and lizards after the, that third generation one after that one two three and three two dinosaurs and that second converted into the mammals so what will happen see here that is the chart right that is the extinct reptile right that is the extinct reptile which is divided into that two that is sauropsid and the synapsids right that is the sauropsis and the synapsids what will happen now these uh, so one and two that is sauropsids and the synapsids right and what will happen now that third is right the dinosaurs so see here these synapsids right synapsids form the palicosaurs then they uh, goes up to the mammals right then what will happen that uh, early extinct after that uh, thecodonts that is with the which was the extinct after that the dinosaurs right it reaches up to the dinosaurs so what will happen that third is the thecodont right so that third is the thecodont so 
the first is sort of said that's why that option is cancelled that is cancelled right so b and d then second is synapsid in given in both and third is the thecodont and paleosaur so the b option is correct right because we don't uh, take that paleosaur because it give rise to the mammals after that right clear now come to the silophyton next question that is silophyton give rise to silophyton give rise to the fern ginkgos conifer correct fern ginkgos conifer gentles it is also correct right fern ginkgos conifer gentles and progymnosperms it is also correct zoster phylum fern ginkgos conifer gentles and progymnosperm no right so in these three most appropriate answer is c how we can see here right this is actually that is the chart of the flora right which is given in ncrt that is the sketch of the evolution of the plants from uh, through the uh, which of plant forms through geography uh, geographical periods uh, geological periods right what will happen here c that is paleozoic era mesozoic era and cenozoic era right and these are the periods the silurian devonian carboniferous permian triassic jurassic cretaceous and the quaternary and tertiary right in which c that chlorophyte ancestors give rise to the car in uh, carboniferous they uh, develop and give rise to the bryophytes right same as that the uh, in between that that zoster of phylum is uh, developed in the silurian period and it, it is between in the rhinia type, uh, type plant and the tracheophyte ancestors right so it is not related with the silophyton that's why the d option is wrong clear now come to the that silophyton which is related with that from that silophyton that is this phenopsids the right the horse tails ferns right so ferns that ginkgos is that conifers that gentles is related with that even that progymnosperms is originate with the uh, that silophyton right clear after that progymnosperms form the seed ferns then the cycads and the dicot cotyledonous right so in that manner the answer the most appropriate correct answer is the c right come to the next question the c uh, the 12th right the evolutionary facts for hugo davries were different from the darwin because the davries believed that right the evolution evolution was gradual no variations are directional no right evolution was the result of single stem large mutation yes right that is the that was the statement of the davries who believed that the evolution is uh, evolution was the result of a single step large mutation right that is the sudden changes in the uh, genes right of a population and when they migrate into the another right what will happen there are changes in some traits their specific characters right so that is the sudden changes in the genes in a particular uh, in the dna right so the answer is c come to the next see that to explain these right what will happen that is the lines of the ncrt which is given in first in the first decade of the 20th century the hugo davries based on his work right on the evening primrose right he brought the for the uh, fraught the ideas of the mutation right that is the large difference arising suddenly in a population clear that is the mutation so he believed that right he believed that it is the mutation which causes the evolution uh, evolution and not the minor variations right heritable right the, which is which is talking by the darwin he said that the large mutations right it's not about the minor variations clear so mutations are the random and directionless while the darwin believe that the variations are the small and the directional right according to the darwin the darwin believed that the variations are the small and directional 
but according to the davri's mutations are the random and directionless clear evolution for darwin was the gradual but uh, for uh, the davri's he believed that mutation caused speciation that is the formation of a new species right hence it is called the saltation that is single large single step large mutation right that saltation means the single step large mutation clear so that's why the answer is the c clear now come to the next 13th seed eating small black birds in galapagos island were evolved into right that galapagos island that means it is talking about the adaptive radiation or and the darwin finches right so in dar uh, in that uh, galapagos island there are various kind of species according uh, according to their habitat and the kind of uh, uh, food they eat the if they are eating the seeds if they are eating the insects if they are uh, fruit eaters right so according to that there is variation in their beaks right uh, there is variation in the beaks in the galapagos island right so they are the insectivore as well and the vegetarian right so the insectivore darwin darwin finches and the vegetarian darwin finches both are evolved right so the answer is c that is both a and b right we have to we can see here right that is the adaptive radiation and the darwin finches this is this is the ancestral seed eating ground finch right see now that is the fruit eater so the beak of that right now when the insect eaters so beak is the sharp and pointed to catch the insects right these are the prob uh, problem these are the cactus eaters so the shape of the beaks are different right in the large cactus ground finches and when we talk about the seed eaters see here that is the large ground finch right the shape of that beak is clear so that is called the adaptive radiation or the darwin finches right come to the next select the examples of the adaptive radiations right uh, accord, uh, actually darwin finches is the one of the example of the adaptive radiation rather than that some uh, marsupials uh, uh, australian marsupials are the examples right and rather than uh, both of them the evolution of the placental mammals are also there right so the example uh, evolution of placental mammal is the example of the adaptive radiation the darwin finches is the example of the adaptive radiation and the australian marsupial is the example of the adaptive radiation right melanized moth in england no that is the example of the industrial melanism natural selection industrial melanism that is natural selection so the answer is a b and c right now the question is why that what is that industrial melanism actually before the emergence of the industrialization in england right white winged moths were more in number than the black winged moths right or we can say the melanized moths these black wing moths is uh, produced just due to the industri industrialization right so but but after the industrialization that is in 1920 the black wing moths are more than the white wing moths right it has seen that the post in, uh, in uh, the post industrialization period the number of dark wing moths is increased much more than the white wing moths right why we know that the moths rest on the tree trunk right we know that moths rest on the tree trunk and before the industrialization there is no air pollution right so uh, 
uh, just because of the absence of air pollution what will happen the tree trunk were the lighter in color right they are, their barks are not dark in appearance right but after the industrialization due to the deposition of the smoke and soot it took place on the tree trunk right what will happen the bar, uh, the tree trunk colors becomes dark right and also there was a thick growth of the almost white colored lichens on the tree trunks right so what will happen after the post uh, post uh, in the industrialization the white moths are uh, appear clearly on that black trunk right so the in uh, the birds who uh, the predators the birds clearly uh, spot that white uh, winged moths and eat them right and just due to that the white winged moth gradually decreases after the uh, industrialization right and black winged moth uh, increases right clear so this is called the industrial melanism or the melanized moth in the England right that is called the industrial melanism and that is the example of the natural selection clear now come to the next question that is paleontological evidences what is the paleontology that is the study of the fossils right and fossils are present on the rocks on the sands and uh, in the form of the radioactive substances all these things right so all these are the evidences uh, all these substances which give the evidences of the appearance of that particular animal right so what is paleontology that is the study of the fossils right so these paleontological evidences are related to the fossils correct sedimentary rocks exactly radioactive datings exactly so the answer is d right so the answer is d because all statements are correct clear 